Okay, I'm gonna tell you four ways that running and the skills that you develop in running helps you in your life and helps you get ahead. And you can implement these right now because if you're running and you're running on a regular basis, you will already have this skill set. You just need to apply it to different aspects of your life. The most simple example is number one. And recently, I was in Chiang Mai in Thailand. And in Chiang Mai, Thailand, it's not as convenient as it is here in Dubai. When I want water, I order 20 liter bottles and it comes directly to my door and I go through five of those, so 100 liters a week of water. When I'm in Chiang Mai, I've got to go to the shop, I've got to get 1.5 liter bottles, so you can imagine how many bottles that I go through. I was then tasked with this mountain of a task of crushing these bottles to get them ready to go to the recycling center. I remember walking into the kitchen and thinking, my, my initial thought was, break this task into little bits. Do, crush twice as many bottles as you drink in a day, and then over the course of the next two, three weeks, they'll all be crushed. And that was my initial thought. And as I was crushing those first 10, I timed myself to see how quick it was, to see how long it would take me over the course of two or three weeks. And it got to like two minutes 30, two minutes 35. I thought to myself, I can refine that process and crush 10 bottles faster. And then I crushed 10 bottles, another 10 bottles. And I thought to myself, are you really gonna crush 20 bottles and leave maybe 200 there? And are you gonna break this task into two weeks or are you gonna get the job done there and then? And so I crushed another 10, another 10, then it got to 50. And I thought to myself, I was like talking myself up, like, are you really gonna crush 50 bottles and leave 100, 150 just waiting there? So I crushed another 50 and it got to 100. My, my forearms were aching. It was just an unusual task I have to do. And I crushed them all. And I went into the other room and my girlfriend came in and saw the bottles. She was just like, what the heck? Like, what have you been doing for the last hour? And to me, it was, I, was, I had a big smile on my face and I just crushed all these bottles and I got the job done in one sitting rather than mess around and make that task last two or three or four weeks. And for me, that was the mentality of the work ethic of running, the resilience of running, the tenacity, the persistence, whatever, all those good words that you learn in running applied to a simple task like crushing bottles. And you can imagine how that then applies to a task within your job that you don't like doing. A lot of people don't ma like making sales calls. But right now, anybody can get at you, whether it's email, WhatsApp. You can send a mass email of 10,000 people within 30 seconds. It's very easy to get at people. What that means is we've got a lot of noise coming at us and we're giving a lot of noise to maybe the clients we want to speak to, the people we want to do business with are receiving all that noise. So they don't know how to sort through that big mess and actually get to it. So right now, sales calls and video calls and meetings face to face are more important than ever before. But people, more now more than ever before, are frightened more than ever to pick up the phone and make a cold call, or pick up the, the phone and introduce themselves to a potential new client. Who are you? Who is your company? I never heard of you. I never heard of your name, never heard of your company, bye. It's the worst thing that can happen. So if you apply that method of running or crushing bottles to making sales calls, and you are the person in your office, if that is a key part of your job, and it usually is a key part of the job that moves the needle in a business, if you are the person that makes 100 sales calls a day, whether it's Monday or Friday or Wednesday, whether you feel like it or you don't feel like it, it's happening because of who you are when you're out there running, who you are when you're crushing balls, and who you are when you're making sales calls. It just happens. Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna get better at it because you get more practice. Exactly the same in running. Your game is going to improve because you're thinking about it. Exactly the same in running. Your running becomes more efficient because you're doing more of it. You're in more interval sessions when you're out there running. So you get faster. You learn how to pace a session. Exactly the same with a sales call. If you make 100 sales calls, 500 a week, 2,000 a month, guess how much better you're getting at it because you know when to push, when to hold off, what works, what doesn't work, what to say next time. It's all continuous improvement learning on the go. Super important. It's exactly the same if you're setting up a business. If you're at a stage in your life when you're, you, you've gone away from your work and you wanna set up your own business, it is hard. 
And it's brilliant that it's hard because it keeps most people in an office or in their work environment and they will never try to do it because nobody is going to reward you until it works. And it's gonna take you a long time to get it off the ground. And what you will probably underestimate is there's a lot of things that you need to do in business that you're not skilled at. And you will usually need to outsource for a fee. But unless you have investment, unless you have money behind you, you're going to have to do a lot of things that you're not skilled at and therefore it's gonna take you 10 or 50 times as long as it would take somebody else. It might be building a website and you've gotta learn how to build a website. It might be accounting and you've gotta learn how to make a balance sheet for the first time in your life. When you've never had to do that before, it might be something as simple as setting up an auto signature. You have no idea how to do it, but YouTube will teach you in five minutes how to do it. You've gotta learn. The, the skills that you learn from running, the delayed gratification, it's not gonna happen on week one, or month one, or year one in your business. It's going to be ridiculously hard. You will have felt nothing like it unless you've run a really long race and you've run out of glycogen, you've hit the wall and you think to yourself, oh my God, who am I? And you talk yourself into getting to the finish line. That running and that get, being out there alone on long runs, patching together fountains or patching together the drinks that you'd left, left the day before, lonely pursuit, really helps you in business. There are so many things from, from running, the work ethic, the delayed gratification, the getting up and making it happen, the consistency, whether you feel like a one out of 10 or a 10 out of 10, it's happening because that's who you are. You're a runner, you're the person who gets it done and that running is project management. It's you training for the next 13 weeks to get your very best time for 5K or get your very best time for a marathon. It's you putting together plenty of those training schedules in order to become a completely different animal, a completely different athlete in the next year, two years, three years. And right now you might be aiming for sub four, but in your mind, in your wildest dreams, you might be further down the road looking for a 2.30 marathon. It's possible. It's probable if you put in the work and if you think about what you're doing and if you approach everything like it is exactly crushing bottles, or it's building a business, or it's learning to run, it's learning to do the recovery runs and easy runs slow enough, because you then realize, you're thinking about your game, and you realize how important it is to get those at the right effort level, low enough, so that you can really attack the interval day in the long run, that's continuous improvement. It's exactly what you need in all aspects of your life. And guess what, when you get to the next interview, and somebody asks you, Give, give me an example of when something was really difficult and you didn't think it was possible and how did you navigate it, how did you get around it and what was the result? I'll tell you about my last training, marathon training block or my last time that I trained for a 5K. I was currently running 28 minutes. I put together a training plan. I worked with a coach because I knew that I needed somebody much more knowledgeable than me. I asked other people for advice on the simple stuff. I put together a 13 week training program and I came out with 25 minutes. That was difficult. And at four kilometers, I had to really dig in, give it everything, but I knew that I'd done the training and I knew I deserved this result. It's powerful and it really works for you. I promise you that everything you learn in running can translate into your life. And everything in life can translate into your running as well. The type of character you are in your life translates into running. I hope you get something from that. And if you have any questions at all about running, or how it applies to life, please let me know in the comments below.